What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video we are going over how to obtain both of the backpack planes in Fallout 76. But before we get to the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76 can you can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. <laughs> to obtain the first backpack on the list, what you're going to want to do is head to the Morgantown Airport, and if you fast travel, this is where you're going to be landing at. And once you're here, you're going to want to make your way into the airport terminal. There is a ton of Scorched over here, but I did kill a ton of them, so hopefully they won't be bothering us too much. But on your playthrough, they're going to be trying to kill you. So what you're going to want to do is make your way through the arrivals door. Once in here, we are going to be taking a left. So, we're in this fancy dancy room. We take a left. Once we take a left, it takes us to this little area back here. And then we're going to go downstairs. I'll go a little bit slow, that way you can see everything. I want to turn my light on. Oh, there's some Scorch. What we're going to want to do is make our way through the double doors. They may not be open on yours, so just make your way through those doors. And then on this part, you can take it right right there. Is That's what we're going to be doing. Or you can go up here and activate this computer. Or lockpick it, and you can make your way through that door, and it takes us to the same location we're going to. But I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do is make our way up the stairs. Once up the stairs, you'll find yourself in a room that looks like a, um, a prison in a bathroom. Is that person following me? No, I don't see him. Once you find that prison that looks like in the bathroom, take a right. Once you take a right, you'll find yourself in a room where there is a broken plane, which is a beautiful plane, and it has some writing on it there. Ooh, amazing, amazing, super cool. Now what you're going to do is make your way through this little yellow thing, metal detector. And then there's going to be two doors. There's going to be one on the right, which is locked unless you have a key card. You can't get through this unless you have a key card. So what you're going to do is take a left and then go downstairs. Once you go downstairs, this is where the key card is. There's going to be more Scorched. I told you this place is filled with them. And again, you don't have to finish any quests or anything. You just come straight here and do exactly what I'm doing. And you don't have to lockpick. You don't have to hack. You don't have to do nothing. Once you make your way all the way through this room and kill all the Scorch that attack you, there's a dead person. Hello, Responder Corpse. Just take that little key card of hers, and then make our way back upstairs. Once we make our way back upstairs, we're able to use the key card, as you will be able to see. Allow access to me. Thank you. Now that we have access to this room, take out some Scorch real quick. That way we can walk through it a little bit slower. We're going to walk through here. And we're going to avoid the responder saying right there. Make your way all the way to the end of the hall. And if you're at the end of the hall, take a right. There's another responder sign. You want to break open this door. There's going to be an NPC in here, by the way, if you want to talk to him. Let me see if I can find him real quick. He's a unique NPC and has unique dialogue. Oh, there he is. His name is Dontrell Haynes. Pretty cool guy. Come talk to him if you'd like to. But... If we walk into the door, dun 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 dun, take a left, see this little stash box right here? In this stash box, you will have the plan to craft a backpack. I've already picked it up and everything, but through this stash box right here will give you the plan to craft the small backpack. And now, onto the large backpack. Now to get the large backpack, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. What you're going to want to do is make your way to any train station. And once you made your way to the train station, come over here to the posters and you're going to find the Pioneer Scouts recruiting poster. Once you find this poster, you want to click on it and read it. And it's going to give you a miscellaneous quest, which is the go to Camp Lewis. And it says visit Camp Lewis enlist today, as you can see. And so what we're going to do now is head over to Camp Lewis. And now we made our way over to the Pioneer Scout Camp, otherwise known as Camp Lewis. And if you come from that direction, that direction, from behind me, or from even over there, what you're going to want to do is head to the east side of the lake. There is a ton of cabins over here, and there's also a scout leader, and his name is Scout Leader Jaggy. Once you talk to him, he's going to be setting you up on a bunch of quests called the Order of the Tadpole. And once you finish those quests, there is a ton of them, so get ready for it. But once you finish it, you obtain the rank of Possum Scout, and you're rewarded the plan to craft the backpack, and you're rewarded a backpack itself. I'm not going to be going through all of that in this video because it is time consuming, but all you have to do is follow his directions after you talk to him. 
But with that being said, guys, this is how you obtain both of the backpacks in Fault 76. And if you enjoy the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fault 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.